Okay. Uh, another question is... Okay. Good. We're gonna do this right now. We're gonna do this right now. This is my official seal, kind of, track this week. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> I know how to say this. But this track... Um, wow. <laughs> Out of words for this one. As... Like, I listened to that track already 15 times, I believe, since Monday, or since Tuesday, I don't know. So, and, oh no, 20 times, I don't know, and I'm like, still like, so fascinated by, by that, you know, how to say this, by that, um, uh, like, by the production and by the idea and everything. And also like, that I'm a huge fan of those producers. Uh, I don't like all tracks of them, but um, most of them. And that one again is an absolutely, wow, amazing tool, amazing... I don't want to say masterpiece, but you know, like it's, it's simply, wow. It really gets the, gets the vibe going. This is Camel Fat with Beats, out this week on Swaga. I also like Lizard King and we can play that afterwards, but this track, holy fuck. And my reaction to this bass line in the background is na 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 was It was the exact reaction I had. Exact that one. Like and you know this is like no so such a pity, you know, that I actually I can't give you like the proper reaction on the track first. Because that's what way way more fun. But when that drops, you know, I, I have a tough time deciding should I do the tsutsu or should I like imitate the bass line? Like na 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 Going like really hard, and also like I really enjoy what they did. Uh, they used the party on stop vocal for this one. Yeah, Paradigm is amazing as well, of course. But like, this is like a tech tool, and Paradigm has like a different approach to the music. Antonio, but this. But the second drop, like, it's really where it gets uh, exciting, because... Actually, what I enjoy so much, like, the, the, the bass line starts at 30 seconds and goes basically up until the outro. So it's like a constant, you know, constant vibe to the track. Just, you know, question of uh, mixing and EQing. So here we go. Let's have a little bit of fun now, make one track out of two now. I'm gonna wrong now. Let's start talking for the breakdown. So break these records in the pieces, fix them together just how I need them. Play it in the club at 12 o'clock. And what can I say? Fun don't stop. Holy fuck that bass line. No 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 Sick. Sick sick sick. No other words to phrase this. Sick sick sick. And once again. So yeah, you know, I was like. I was like walking around, you know, around the city. I had this track, you know, in my in my headphones, and I was like walking like. Fun now, make one track out of two now. I'm going wrong now. Everybody's talking for the breakdown, so I break these records into pieces, fix them together just how I need them. Play them in the club at 12 o'clock. What can I say? Feel my beat. Yeah, actually, that, uh, 
uh, it's more about fucking Finch. You're totally right, Antonio. That's kind of, you know, kind of fucking the Finch bass line. But no, that gets the vibe going in the club. Like, everybody. My goodness. I can really, like, totally imagine, like, the whole club, you know, gets crazy about this one. With this epic bass line. And you can play it in a house set, you can play it in a techno set. Works everywhere. Sorry, actually, that I... I actually, I ate so much a few hours ago that actually I'm still kind of... So that was the first one. Yeah, I'll well, eat the same. I need to hear it in a live set. That's for sure. Okay, that was a camel fat number one today. And next up, because like the outro is not very interesting, uh, is Lizard King. That was also released on the same EP. And that has a bit of a different approach, but I still want to play that. Um, because this kind of reminds me... Mm. Is that already released, Antonio? The Mind AP? I guess I can't remember anymore. So. It's also kind of fucking Finch-like. But no, I still enjoy it. I don't really care too much about who produces it or not. Talk about this. Um, tell about this. That there's something in the background, a sound that reminds me of Dark River, because I was actually reviewing uh, Olin Batista's. Uh, so I have like such a such. Uh, mm, such dry lips that actually has. I'm gonna try to. That will work better. <laughs> so if you actually but if you listen properly and also like here in the drop there's a, like a certain element in the background. That reminds me a bit of Dark River. Very interesting to listen to. So I just wanted to touch on that. Also, that's for example more of a tool, I believe. Both are tools, but like, uh, I believe, um, Beats like you know gets a bit more you know the crowd a bit more exciting so I just wanted to touch on that. <laughs> 